Singapore, a bustling metropolis renowned for its economic dynamism and cultural vibrancy, has reached a significant demographic milestone. For the first time in its history, the island nation's population has surpassed the 6 million mark, reaching 6.04 million. This achievement underscores Singapore's continued attractiveness as a global hub for business, talent, and opportunity. The growth in population, however, is not solely driven by natural increase. A significant portion of this milestone can be attributed to the influx of non-resident individuals who have chosen to make Singapore their temporary or permanent home. This trend reflects the critical role that foreign workforce and talent play in sustaining Singapore's economic engine. This surge in population presents both opportunities and challenges for the nation. It underscores the need for thoughtful urban planning, social integration, and sustainable growth strategies to ensure that Singapore continues to thrive as a global city. As we delve deeper into the factors driving this population growth, we will examine the implications for Singapore's future. The increase in Singapore's population is largely attributed to the rise in the number of non-resident individuals. These individuals comprise a diverse group, each contributing to Singapore's social and economic fabric in unique ways. Among them are foreign professionals on work visas, contributing their skills and expertise to various sectors of the economy. Migrant domestic workers play a crucial role in supporting Singaporean households, enabling more citizens to participate in the workforce. Additionally, a significant number of international students choose Singapore for its world-class education system, further enriching the cultural landscape. Each of these groups represents a different facet of the non-resident population drawn to Singapore for a myriad of reasons. Understanding their motivations and contributions is essential for formulating effective policies that address the challenges and opportunities presented by this demographic shift. The influx of non-resident workers, particularly skilled professionals, is deeply intertwined with Singapore's economic needs. Singapore's economic success story has been built upon its ability to attract global talent and investment. As a knowledge-based economy, Singapore relies heavily on a highly skilled workforce to maintain its competitive edge in sectors such as finance, technology, and research and development. The presence of a large pool of foreign labor allows companies in Singapore to access a wider range of skills and expertise, often at competitive costs. This in turn attracts more multinational corporations to set up operations in Singapore, further boosting economic growth and creating job opportunities. However, this reliance on foreign labor also presents challenges, such as potential wage suppression for local workers and concerns about over-reliance on external talent. Balancing the need for economic competitiveness with the well-being of Singaporean workers is a delicate balancing act that requires careful consideration and policy intervention. The number of work permit holders has seen a significant increase in recent years, particularly in sectors that have experienced robust post-pandemic recovery. Industries such as technology, finance, and construction have witnessed a surge in demand for skilled labor, leading to a corresponding rise in the number of work permits issued. This trend highlights the cyclical nature of Singapore's labor market, which is often influenced by global economic conditions. The ability to attract and retain foreign talent in times of economic expansion is crucial for Singapore to capitalize on growth opportunities. However, this reliance on foreign labor also underscores the need for continuous upskilling and reskilling of the local workforce. Equipping Singaporean workers with the necessary skills to thrive in a rapidly evolving job market is paramount to ensuring their continued relevance and competitiveness. Section 5. Planning for the Future – A Delicate Balancing Act the Singapore government has long recognized the importance of strategic population planning. With a land area of just over 700 square kilometers, efficient land use and resource management are paramount. The government has set a target population of 6.9 million by 2030, a figure that has sparked considerable public debate. This target reflects a delicate balancing act between maintaining economic growth and ensuring a high quality of life for its residents. Factors considered in this planning process include birth rates, life expectancies, and migration patterns. The government has implemented various policies to encourage Singaporeans to have more children, including financial incentives and enhanced childcare support. However, these measures have yet to yield significant results, 
highlighting the complex social and economic factors influencing family planning decisions in modern Singapore. Section 6. Public Perception and Concerns The government's population projections have elicited mixed reactions from the public. While some acknowledge the economic benefits of a larger workforce, others express concerns about the potential strain on infrastructure, housing affordability, and competition for jobs. The issue of national identity and social cohesion also comes into play, as some Singaporeans worry about the impact of a large foreign population on Singapore's unique cultural fabric. Addressing these concerns is crucial for ensuring public support for population policies. Open dialogue, transparency, and a commitment to equitable distribution of resources are essential for mitigating anxieties and fostering a sense of shared destiny among citizens and non-citizens alike. Section 7. The Vital Role of Migrant Domestic Workers no discussion about Singapore's population and workforce would be complete without acknowledging the significant role played by migrant domestic workers. These women, primarily from neighboring Southeast Asian countries, provide essential caregiving and household support for many Singaporean families. Their contributions enable more Singaporean women to participate in the workforce, boosting the nation's economic output. However, the welfare and treatment of migrant domestic workers remain a sensitive issue with concerns about exploitation and inadequate labor protections. The government has taken steps to improve the working conditions of migrant domestic workers, including mandatory rest days and stricter regulations on employment agencies. However, more can be done to ensure that these vulnerable workers are afforded the same rights and protections as other employees. Section 8. Singapore's Workforce in a Global Context To fully appreciate the dynamics of Singapore's workforce, it's essential to compare it with other developed countries. Singapore's labor force participation rate is among the highest in the world, reflecting the nation's strong work ethic and emphasis on education. However, this high labor force participation rate is also accompanied by a relatively low unemployment rate, suggesting that the Singaporean economy is creating sufficient jobs to absorb its workforce. This is in stark contrast to many other developed nations grappling with high unemployment rates, particularly among youth and older workers. Section 9. Lessons from Other Developed Nations Singapore can learn valuable lessons from other developed nations that have grappled with similar demographic challenges. Countries like Japan and Germany, facing aging populations and shrinking workforces, offer insights into the potential pitfalls of over-reliance on foreign labor and the importance of investing in automation and technological innovation. By studying the successes and failures of other nations, Singapore can refine its own policies and strategies to better address the challenges and opportunities presented by its evolving demographics. Section 10. Navigating the challenges of an aging population. Singapore, like many developed nations, is facing the challenges of an aging population. As life expectancies increase and birth rates decline, the proportion of older citizens is growing, putting a strain on healthcare systems and social safety nets. Addressing the needs of an aging population while ensuring the sustainability of social security and healthcare systems will require innovative solutions and a long-term perspective. Section 11. Shaping the Future of a Global City Singapore's journey to a population of 6.04 million is a testament to its attractiveness as a global hub. However, this milestone also presents challenges that require careful navigation. Balancing economic growth with social cohesion, addressing the needs of an aging population, and ensuring the well-being of both citizens and non-citizens will be crucial for shaping the future of this dynamic city-state. By embracing innovation, fostering inclusivity, and learning from the experiences of other nations, Singapore can continue to thrive as a model of sustainable development and a beacon of opportunity in an increasingly interconnected world.